has much changed under the skin? While you generally sacrifice refinement, they are often noisy and it's harder for them to engage smoothly, dog ears can more easily withstand high loads going through the transmission. If you're not familiar with dog ears, they are the straight cut ratios more usually found in racing cars. While you generally sacrifice refinement, they are often noisy and it's harder for them to engage smoothly, dog ears can more easily withstand high loads going through the transmission. Did they give you an empty track or runway to verify all of this? The Zenvo was also far less intimidating to drive than you might expect thanks to a view out that made it very easy to place on the road. Next. The tires were also relatively slender 265s at the front compared to the monstrous 345s at the rear. Yes, yes, but what about all of that power? If you have experienced in early Lamborghini Gallardo or some of Aston Martin's sport shift gearboxes then you will be familiar with many of the attributes of the Zenvo's gearbox. Given that there is more than enough torque to lean on, the full three-pedal manual gearbox could actually be the option to go for. Well, Zenvo apparently sold about a dozen ST1s, and although the company is the dream of a man in some large buildings somewhere an hour south of Copenhagen, it now has more financial backing. About four years ago the company was bought by a very wealthy Russian, who apparently made his money building roads. That's all very exciting. But has Zenvo really got a future? This low-volume labor-intensive manufacturing means the TS1 comes at a price, though 1.2 million, plus any local taxes. Is it really worth that much? An elongated hexagonal theme is present throughout, which is slightly odd given that Lamborghini uses exactly the same version of the six-sided shape in its cars, but there we go. Each one has a slightly different and often interesting view of what a dream car should be and it's never less than fascinating finding out how each one has been executed.